So somebody stole my wheels and it's going to end up costing me $40,000. Yeah, I'm not even surprised. Uh, I, I drive a foreign car as well. And I, um, I know, and I have another foreign car as well. And, um, it's actually in the shop and the insurance was like, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be $15,000 in damage from a rock hitting your suspension system on the front of that, um, two-door coupe. I was like, huh. That's if you're going through a dealership. I'm not paying for it. So I was like, I'll just, send, I'll just take it to the dealership. Just tow it to the dealership. Let them handle it. Let them fix it. They're going to fix it. But yeah, that's for a slower, non-premium version of a car like that. <laughs> if I would have had the the model foreign of the model, model foreign that reciprocates and like matches up to that Audi that he has. Woo. Yeah. I probably would have been spending out the same amount for getting the axles and everything changed because it was left sitting in the snow and stuff. And that's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah. You, you pay what you, you pay what you, the brand, you pay for the brand and the name and you pay for the parts because they got to ship them over and the dealerships like they got to make their profit and everything. So yeah, it's, it's expensive.